Hi, George here, and we'll be improving this picture here by doing a bit of work on the background, blurring it down further at the top, and also darkening it down just like that. Very easy to do, just takes a few steps, and this really, as you can see, improves the photo. There's the original, and here's our improved version where the foreground subjects really pop out. Okay, to do this, I'm just going to get rid of all of this stuff in here. We'll delete all those layers, don't need those. Get back to the original layer right down here. Now you can download this from my website. I'll put a link for that in the description. And while we're talking about the description, also take a look down there for a link to my new photo channel. It's called HTG Photo. And I'll be moving all of my Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, Affinity Photo, and other videos like that over to that channel pretty soon. Not immediately, but pretty soon. Right now, I'll be doing videos on both channels. But as soon as I get enough subscribers over there, I'll move everything over to that channel where we just focused on those videos and no gaming videos. So if you want to have a clean, no gaming video experience, then make sure you subscribe to HTG Photo. Okay, let's get back to this project here. First thing we want to do is to make a duplicate of the background. Right click and duplicate, choose OK. And that's just a safety in case you mess things up on this layer right here. Now we need to separate the girls out onto their own layer. And we'll do that in an easy way. Go up here to grab our selection tools. I'll use the top one here. This is the quick selection. And it's set for add. And you can see there's the brush size. There it is. And let's begin to brush in here and we'll quickly add in the girls will come back and we'll refine the edge to clean up the areas around the hair, which usually needs some refined edge. Make sure you catch that camera in there and get this part of the hat right here and wrap along the top of the head and over in here. We've got some of that background. We'll take care of that in just a second. We can clean that back out again. Right now, I want to get everything that we need in. There we go. Let's now switch over here to subtract and then begin taking out the stuff we don't want. There we go, just kind of come in on that edge and right down in through here. Okay, that's good. And a little bit right there, I think. Let's now switch over to the Refine Edge Brush. You can see there's the brush size. And this really is only needed right along the hair, pretty much. Everything else looks okay. Maybe right in along here and a little bit right here. And mostly over here on the girl on the right-hand side because she has more fluffy hair out here, kind of blowing out in the breeze just a little bit. I want to catch some of that. There we go. Now we're putting this back on top of itself, so this isn't really that critical, but it's nice to do a good job anyway. Okay, that looks good right here. Let's now I'll put this to a new layer with layer mask. Choose OK, and there we go. And that edge looks fine for this. Let's now bring back in our background. All right, now we can blur the background out. Now for that, I need to have another copy of this layer, so right click on the background copy, Duplicate, choose OK, and we're going to blur this layer out. Go up to Filter, come down to Blur, and the Gaussian Blur right here. And I'll pull it up quite a ways, kind of like that. That's a nice, that's too far. Maybe about 12, I think I'll just type that in. It's a preview button right here, so there's before and there's after. Maybe a little bit too much, let's take it down to 10. And I think that's pretty good right there, just a bit blurrier in the background. Now I want to have it blurred out up here, but not blurred out down below. And we can do that by adding a layer mask onto this layer. Click the layer mask button right here. Make sure you see that light blue outline on the right hand side. If you don't, double click on the right hand side. Let's go over here now and grab the gradient tool. And we'll set the gradient at our second option right here, which is black to transparent. Choose OK. Now black hides, white shows, of course clear also shows. So I'll come down here to the bottom. I'll hold the shift key down so I get a perfectly vertical line and pull it straight up to the top. And what that does is it hides this blurriness, this blur layer at the bottom. So the bottom is the existing blur and the top has the increased blur on it. So we've done our, what's basically a tilt shift blur in here, but using these two layers and that gradient mask. Okay, now with this blur, notice we gain a bit of blurriness right around her hat in here, which looks a little bit weird if I kind of show and hide that. You can see that bit of a halo happening up in there. We're going to fix that. I'm going to hide the top layer. You can see that blurry edge. We just want to clone stamp that out. So on that blur layer, I'm just going to rename this one so it's real easy to see. There we go. That's our blur layer right here. Go over and grab the clone stamp tool, and there's the brush size. Double click on the image side, and then come over here, hold the Alt key down, you see that little icon that means that the alt key is held down. Click that selects in that area. I can then bring that in. I'm just going to paint in just a little ways like this. It doesn't need much. Just do a few short steps, you know, a little bit from over here, like that, a little bit from over here, right down here. 
And that's really all that it needs. And same thing over here on this girl's hair, just kind of grab some of that background and pull it into her hair just a little bit, just enough to hide that haloing. Okay, we'll bring our foreground back in again. There we go, looks real nice and clean now. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to darken it down more at the top and less at the bottom, but I also want to increase the color up here a bit, make it a bit more saturated. We can do that with just one single layer. Make a new layer here above our blur layer and then back to our gradient tool. And this time, I'll start at the top, just above, hold the shift key down, pull it straight down to the bottom, and let go. And I'll bring the opacity down on this, just down to about 50%. I'll just type that in, 50. And then go up here to the blend modes, and change your blend mode to overlay, and that brings back in your color, back there actually richens up the color. Now to really see this, I'm gonna take this background layer down here, right click and duplicate, that's the original. I'll put this up at the top. So there's a before, it's kind of washed out looking in the back. And here's the after with that new improved background. And it really makes the whole picture pop. It's more colorful and the subjects stand out more. They pop out more from the background because those two things, the slight blurring and the darkening down. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click subscribe, click share, and make sure you go over and take a look at HDG Photo and subscribe over there because all of these kinds of videos will be moving over there as soon as I have enough subscribers for that. And I'll see you next time.